Hi, I'm Trisha, and these are my teammates, Francis, Zixing, Yue Ning, and Ling Xi, and we're here to tell you about mental health and its importance. Firstly, mental health is very important. It can affect someone negatively. It is the emotional health of someone, which is also related to the well-being of someone. Mental health is essential to each and every individual as it affects their daily life and efficiency in what they do. As many people suffer from mental health issues like depression due to stress, we should learn to cope with stress. Additionally, with mental health problems happening around our community, many are unaware of people who have mental health issues due to lack of knowledge on such problems or are unaware of the signs and symptoms. Therefore, we are here to help you learn and understand how to identify and help those suffering from mental health problems. Some examples of common mental health issues in Singapore are depression, anxiety, and dysmorphia. Depression is a common mental health problem among youths and adults due to the stress in life which took a mental toll on them. A major problem in Singapore's educational system is depression as, Singa- as students tend to be forced to do well in their studies. While adults have depression due to their work conditions and financial problems, anxiety is a mental health problem when someone suffers from panic attack due to stressful periods as they are unable to cope with the situation, which leads to panic attacks. This will be more common for people with trauma or something they have faced in past. Body dysmorphia is a mental health problem which happens among teens who are under pressure of having a perfect body shape and always see themselves as imperfect. This, therefore, always trying to slim down, but are unable to fulfill their standards of perfection. Depression is the constant disinterest in matters adding with feelings of extreme sadness commonly caused due to low self-esteem from peer pressure and other sources of stress. Some common warning signs of depression can be seen which can be seen are mood swings, sudden headaches and insomnia. With statistics showing that 1 in 16 people in Singapore have depression. This makes up with more than 250,000 people in Singapore having depression. Depression is normally caused by high expectations from peers or loved ones which adds on the pressure on one's mind and which uh, and other sources of stress which lead to depression are also due to lack of self-confidence discouragement and bullying from others, and the lack of social interaction. Fortunately, there are still some solutions to treat depression, such as increasing social interaction by making more friends and talking to current friends in order to not leave yourself out in one social circle. Don't be pressurized by high expectations and give yourself practical ones to not make yourself too stressful. Lastly, don't suppress all your negative emotions to yourself, but rather share it with a trusted one, so in order to not feel too overwhelmed by emotions. Anxiety is a feeling of unease, such as worry or fear that can be mild or severe. Some causes of anxiety include severe illness or chronic health conditions and substance abuse. Some common signs and symptoms of anxiety are when a person feels nervous and restless, is breathing rapidly and has an increased heart rate, and when the person is sweating or trembling. A person can meditate, eat healthy diet, exercise regularly, and seek support to reduce anxiety. During the COVID-19 pandemic, it is observed that young adults between the age of 18 to 24 are more likely to report symptoms of anxiety or depressive order. Some causes of anxiety are history of mental disorder, negative life events, chronic health conditions, substance abuse, or low self-esteem. Some solutions are eating healthy and exercising as well as getting better sleep and learning to relax. They can also keep a journal or manage negative thoughts, get together with friends and seek support from professionals. Dysmorphia is when people are really insecure about how they look and cannot stop thinking about their defects and flaws in their appearance. Even something small may make them feel ashamed and embarrassed. When someone has dysmorphia, they'll focus a lot on their looks, always seeking reassurance from others. 
Eighty percent reports having thoughts about suicide, while forty-four percent attempted to end their own lives. This disorder begins to occur at a young age of twelve to thirteen. One in fifty people suffer from dysmorphia. Dysmorphia also makes people do things like pick at their skin to make it smooth, spending a lot of time comparing your looks to others, and go through a lot of effort to conceal flaws. It also makes people worry about a specific area of their body, look at themselves a lot in the mirror, and tend to avoid looking in the mirror. On the left is our prototype, which in is a poster to increase mental health awareness and its importance. The poster mentions some of the mo- common mental health problems in Singapore, which include anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder, dysmorphia, eating disorder, mood disorder. Such disorders have early warning s- signs shown through symptoms, which include eating or sleeping too much or little, having low or no energy, feeling indifferent to the world, having s- sudden unexplained pain, hopelessness and a tendency to argue and fight with loved ones due to uncontrollable temperance. It's sad to see people suffering from mental health, especially when a lot of people are suffering from it. But it gets frowned upon in the society and gets ignored most of the time. The longer it gets ignored, the more serious the condition will get. Mental health should be more talked about. We hope that this speech will inspire others to understand more about mental health, depression, anxiety, and dysmorphic order. Thank you for listening to our speech. We hope that our message gets forwarded.